Hello everyone. It's great you're tuning in, or tubing in, as Ronald says. We're going to explore a bit more about our story together this morning. Didn't the Tap family do a great job telling the story? If you'd like to watch the story again, just ask an adult that you live with to show you it again on YouTube. The story is a parable Jesus told, and it's recorded for us in the Bible in Matthew 13, verses 44 to 46. There are two parables, the hidden treasure and the pearl of great price. They both have the same meaning. The kingdom of God is worth far more than anything else. Following Jesus and being part of his family is more important than anything else. We're looking at the parables in which Jesus told us how much the kingdom of God is worth. In the first parable, Jesus talked about a man who found some treasure in a field. It was a field he didn't own. We're not sure why he was in the field. Maybe he was the hired help for the man who owned the field, or maybe he was just passing through. Or maybe the field was for sale and the man was looking after looking it over before deciding whether to buy it. Whatever the reason he was there, he found an amazing treasure. Maybe some precious jewels or a stash of coins. It was a great surprise and instantly the man knew that the treasure was incredibly valuable. He was overjoyed. He went home, sold everything he owned, his furniture, his house, his jewellery, his sheep, his goats. And he took all the money that he made and he bought the field. Clearly the treasure in the field was worth more than everything else the man owned. When the man found the treasure, he could have covered it up, gone, up, gone on up with his business and forgotten all about it. But that's not what he did. The treasure was too great to forget about. The man was so excited to know that he could possibly own the treasure. Perhaps he laid awake each night thinking about the treasure until it was his. Notice that the man sold everything. He was left with nothing. He knew that the treasure was better than his home and his belongings. The treasure was so important to him that he joyfully gave up everything else in the world to gain the treasure. Jesus compared the kingdom of God to the hidden treasure. The kingdom of God is the treasure. The kingdom of God is far more valuable than anything in this world. There's nothing that even compares to a loving relationship with the creator of the universe. When we discover that we can enter God's kingdom, we have a choice to make, just as the man in the field did. We can see the treasure and we can just go back to our old way of life. Or we can see God's kingdom full of peace, love, forgiveness, freedom and joy, and we want that more than anything else. Jesus is not saying that you must go out and sell everything you own. He's saying that you should be willing to do that. He's saying that nothing compares in value to the new life that the king wants to give you. And that we shouldn't love anything or anyone more than we love Jesus. If you belong to the kingdom, you have the greatest treasure. It's a treasure freely given by God, the King, to everyone who trusts in him. Jesus told another similar parable. In the second story, he began with the words, the kingdom of heaven is like, or in some versions, it says the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is being part of the group of people called Christians who love Jesus and want to follow him. On our own, we can't be part of God's kingdom because we all do wrong things. But Jesus came to make it possible for us to join God's kingdom. Jesus takes away the sin of everyone who trusts in him. The person has a change of heart and he or she truly wants to do God's will. God sends us his Holy Spirit and with the Holy Spirit's help, we can do God's will and that we are part of God's kingdom. New life in God's kingdom is much more than going to heaven when we die, although that will be wonderful. Kingdom life is about here and now. 
It's knowing Jesus, listening to his voice. It's having his peace, his joy, his love and his power. It's the best life possible. Jesus said, I have come so they can have life. I want them to have it in the fullest possible way. These are pearls. Pearls are very valuable and they come for oys from oysters. These are oyster shells. Oysters usually live in the sea and the oysters are the animals that live inside the shells. The shell has two parts that are hinged together and when the oyster is under the water, the oyster opens the shell to let water and food in. Sometimes when it does that, a, a bit of sand or grit gets in. That irritates the oyster. So it creates a coating that covers the sand or grit. And over time, the grit is covered with more and more layers of this coating. Eventually, after several years, it ends up looking like a beautiful, shiny stone called a pearl. The bigger and more perfectly round the pearl, the more valuable it is. Pearls were especially valuable in Jesus' day. Treasure seekers searched the seas to find oysters with pearls inside. Not every oyster has a pearl and not every pearl is big or round. The man in Jesus' story found a very valuable pearl. The story is very much like the first parable, but in this one, the man was actively looking for treasure. Just as parable, the valuable pearl was a symbol of the kingdom of God. And like in the first parable, the man gladly gave up everything he owned to get the pearl. He too knew that nothing he owned could compare to the great treasure he had finally found. The point of these two parables is the great value of being a part of God's kingdom. Jesus not, is not pointing out what we must give up in order to enter his kingdom. He's telling us that it's worth more than everything else in the world. Both men gladly and joyfully gave up everything else to claim their newfound treasure. Jesus makes it clear that we should not let anything keep us from entering the kingdom of God. And when we know the value of what we have, we want to share it with others. This treasure has no limit. The kingdom of God continues to grow and grow. Jesus wants it to grow. He promises that it will grow and God always keeps his promises. God wants all people, everyone, to believe in Jesus and enter into his kingdom. So we should share our treasure. I hope you've enjoyed our time together. Do ask an adult that you live with to show you on the church website where there are some activities that I've prepared for you. I hope you have a good time doing them. See you soon.